everybody. As you can see, I am at the airport. Just got through security and immigration. Probably took about 10 to 15 minutes. So not bad at all for a Saturday morning. Just gonna go through duty free here. I don't think I'll stop and buy anything. I'm looking forward to getting up to the lounge and uh, having a bite to eat. And you know me, I need a champagne. some breakfast got some uh, scrambled eggs bacon tomato and I think that's a zucchini and corn quiche and some toast and a bit of pineapple juice and you all know I can't go without this so first drink of the holiday cheers Just leaving in the lounge. My flight is about to board. I'm very happy to say I finally got the business class upgrade. So they left it till very last minute to do the upgrade. So I literally only found out a few minutes ago, but I'm very happy that I've got that upgrade. So LA, here we come. Two nights in LA and then on to Vegas. Let's do this. Here we go. I think we're about 30 minutes late boarding. But finally making our way down to the aircraft now. So hopefully we can make up that time in the air. Let's see.
nice pair of socks and an eye mask for sleeping some earplugs I won't use those though because I do bring my own silicon earplugs a bam bamboo toothbrush and some toothpaste and a lip gloss a hand cream and face cream I am in my PJs um, good to get changed before the meal service wearing white and I've ordered soup so my luck I'd spill it all over me so I've got my PJs now um, gonna kick back have something to eat and watch a movie all right so I've just put on my first movie Oppenheimer and on my little seat controls here I've just turned on the massage function. So I'm gonna kick back, have a nice little back massage. Five minutes it was great um, so it is about 9 30 I think and I gotta wait until about 11 o'clock for a room so just sitting here with um, a coffee and a chocolate croissant and I've got my iPad out I'm gonna watch some vlogs and then hopefully I can get into the room by 11 and have a shower and uh, change your clothes and freshen up because after being in the same clothes for 14 hours um, on that flight start to feel a bit gross anyway glad to be here and um, yeah take you along for my journey okay I'm in my room it's just after 11 a.m. so I did do a early check-in for $40 
So I'm on the 12th floor, room 44. It is a king room. Just give you a quick tour. So as you come in, to the right is the bathroom. They are small bathrooms here. Quite a big mirror. Single vanity there. Extra towels. Mirror. Toilet there. And then behind the door, we have the shower over the bath. And Crabtree and Evelyn toiletries. As you come out, I've got the cupboard here. So, just got some hangers, iron, ironing board, laundry bag. There was a luggage rack in there, which you will see over there with my luggage already on it. Nice big mirror there. So as we come in here, nice big king bed. Lamp, phone and clock. Over here, coffee maker, complimentary water, ice bucket. There is no refrigerator, but I have asked for one. That's my backpack there. Nice big TV. And then safe in the drawer. And then nice big deep drawer space in there. And then next to that, nice desk area. Another nice big mirror. And then on this side of the bed, Another bedside table, nice little chair, table and lamp. And then if we have a look outside, my view, runway. So I am very happy with this view. I can see myself sitting here in the morning with a coffee, watching the planes. You can see them um, taxiing down the runway there. So yeah, very happy with this. So. This is my room for the next two nights. Originally, it was just going to be one night. Um, I decided to fly out a day early, being on staff travel, have to go with whatever flight has got the best capacity. So, hence, I have two nights here now. So, anyway, I'm going to shower, maybe take a little nap. I did have a bit of sleep on the flight. I'll give you a rundown of the flight after. I've had a shower and freshened up a bit. Um, and then I'm not sure that I'll head out and do much today. I might just chill here in the hotel. Although, mind you, there is a psychic conference downstairs. So while I've been sitting in the lobby with my coffee while I was waiting for my room, I've had the pleasure of listening to pan flutes. So... I'm glad I've got my room because I think my ears were going to start to bleed from that noise. I've just noticed that straight down there is a view of the pool. I won't be going down there though, it's uh, too cold today for the pool. All right, I'm going to have a shower, freshen up a bit and maybe take a little nap. I'll catch you all later. showered I'm feeling a little bit more human um, just sitting down with a cup of tea so I thought I'd give you just a quick rundown on my flight um, so it was pretty much on time I think if anything maybe delayed 20 minutes or so we were a little bit late boarding but it wasn't a full flight so it didn't take forever to board um, I did get my business class upgrade. Um, those of you who follow me on Instagram and Facebook would have seen I posted some stories on that. Um, but it did take until about five minutes before we started boarding for that upgrade to come through. So a little bit stressful, but 
it's always great to get the upgrade for that long flight. Um, staff were super fantastic, like they couldn't have been more helpful. Um, I was feeling a little bit queasy, not long after takeoff, bit of reflux. Um, they went and got ginger ale for me, um, you know, kept asking if I needed anything. They were great. Um, the meal was really good. Um, I really wanted the, um, the chicken skewers that I had on the flight last year. If um, you saw my Travel Day vlog, I did love those chicken skewers last time, but they'd run out of those. So I ordered the um, cauliflower and thyme soup with sourdough croutons, and oh my God, it was so good. I'm not sure I've ever had carrot soup before, but that was, it was delicious. Um, and then I had um, the fillet of beef with roast potatoes and braised cabbage. Cabbage was a bit average, um, the potatoes were good. The beef, although it was a little bit overcooked for my liking, I would say it was closer to well done. It was still fairly tender, um, had a lot of flavor. Um, it, it was really good, like honestly, you know, how easy can it be to cook, um, you know, a little eye fillet steak on an aeroplane? Um, but yeah, it, it was really good. And then I skipped dessert, I was I was too full, um, so I didn't have any dessert. Um, probably slept for maybe mm, five or six hours, but interrupted sleep, so um, I'm probably going to have a nap very soon. Um, it's just gone 12 o'clock, so um, although the shower has woken me up a little bit, um, I'm sure once I sort of relax on the bed there, um, I've got my iPad with a few Vegas vlogs that were released over the weekend that I need to catch up on. Well, over the weekend, it's just the start of the weekend, um, sort of Friday night, Saturday. Um, so I'll probably watch a couple of those um, and then I think I will probably have a nap. I don't think I'll venture out of the hotel this afternoon. Um, there is, I think I said earlier, <laughs> there's a convention downstairs and oh god, I can't go back to the lobby until the god awful music finishes, although I would like to film some of it so I can show you. Um, but literally it was ear piercing earlier. It was it was so um, high pitched and uh, just, you know, pan flutes. It's just not a pleasant smell, uh, smell, not a pleasant sound. Um, there you go, I am tired. <laughs> I'm mixing up my words now. Um, anyway, so, um, once it quietens down a bit when the um, expo finishes, um, might go down to the bar and have a drink. Um, nice Italian restaurant, might um, grab some dinner there and um, yeah, we'll see how the night goes. But I don't expect that. Well, there's nothing really to do around this area. It's an airport hotel, so um, I won't venture out anywhere tonight. Um, I'll just enjoy that nice big king bed over there. Um, and then tomorrow, Pretty super relaxing day tomorrow. Um, I might head down to um, In-N-Out Burger, grab some food, um, do some plane spotting, um, even though I can see them here from my room. Um, I love that runway view down there at In-N-Out Burger. And then not far from there is a Target, so I might just go and have a bit of a browse there. Um, but again, it won't be, it won't be, you know, a big day or anything like that. Um, I just want to make sure I'm nice and rested up, ready for Vegas on Monday. All right, I'm going to go and relax and um, I'll catch you all a bit later. Bye. So just quickly, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, um, I just wanted to talk about immigration at LAX. So I joined the immigration line at I think nine minutes past seven this morning and I was through immigration at 19 minutes past seven. Never ever have I got through immigration here in 10 minutes. It was fantastic. So they did move a group of us over to um, a, a line that was I think dedicated for airline crew um, because while I was waiting in that line the crew from my flight did line up behind me um, but it wasn't busy there at all and I didn't get grilled um, uh, by the immigration officer um, basically just got asked how long I was staying what am I doing here and as soon as I said I was going to Vegas well the chat was about Vegas then. What do I play? Um, do I play blackjack? 
you know, etc. So yeah, really great experience at immigration. Um, I did wait a little bit for my bags, but all in all, I think from the time I got off the plane to the time I got out of the airport, it was maybe 40 to 45 minutes. So yeah, really, really fast this time. So very impressed. Anyway, I've just um, ordered some room service for my lunch. Um, I'll show you what I get when it arrives. All right, here is my room service lunch. So I've just ordered um, pepperoni pizza and I did also order a um, Coke to go with that. They sent up um, a cup of ice, plates, napkins, um, cutlery, salt and pepper. So all up for that. Um, with gratuity, it was $30. So that's actually not bad for room service prices. Um, and that's quite a decent sized pizza. So I'll probably get about three feeds out of that. So I'm hoping they bring the fridge that I asked for. Um, it's been a couple of hours, so I might have to call down and ask about that so I can keep my leftover pizza in the fridge. Anyway, I'm going to go and get stuck into this and um, keep watching the vlogs and, um, I do want a nap, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm being distracted by the Vegas vlogs or whether I'm not as tired as I thought. But anyway, we'll see how I feel after I eat. Everybody. It is day two here in LA. Um, oh, it's just gone 20 past nine. So I was awake from about 1.30 a.m. until about 5.30 a.m. this morning. Did manage to go back to sleep for about three hours. And uh, now I'm just heading down to Denny's to have some breakfast. Um, not sure what I'll do after that, but anyway, I'll take you along with me. Okay, got seated straight away here at Denny's. Um, got my coffee and I had um, an email um, about two weeks ago for a free birthday breakfast. Um, so it's my birthday in two weeks. And um, I think you get two pancakes, eggs, and bacon or sausage. Um, yeah, for free for your birthday. So. I'll just pay the taxes, I'll pay for the coffee, um, so that'll do me for breakfast. Matt and I did come here a couple of years ago and it was pretty average, so I'm hoping that it has improved by then. Um, to be fair, it literally was not long after the pandemic, so um, we'll give him another chance and see if it's any better this time. Alright, I'm going to go and drink this.
my room. I uh, just finished breakfast at Denny's. It was better than last time that we were there. Um, food was good, um, but the service was pretty slow. So it wasn't, wasn't overly busy. Um, I think it took 20, 25 minutes just to get my meal. And for Denny's, that's that's a long time. I think my server came back three times and kept saying to me, it won't be long, I'm sorry, it won't be long. Um, but anyway, the food was the food was decent, the coffee was nice. Unlike last time we were there, the coffee wasn't even drinkable last time we were there. Um, so with my discount for the um, free breakfast, all I really paid for was the coffee and tax. So I think the bill came out to six dollars sixty um no sorry that was with tip um i think it was about three dollars sixty so look the breakfast was only worth 6.99 to start with but still like free breakfast is free breakfast so happy birthday to me from denny's for two weeks time um i'll take your free meal thank you all right um i think i'm going to just sit and take in this view for a little while um, relax a little bit, see if the um, Super Bowl pre-game is on TV. Um, I might actually head down towards the airport a bit later, do a bit of aeroplane spotting from In-N-Out Burger and uh, grab a burger for lunch later. And then um, I won't be doing too much else today. My flight to Vegas is at... 8.55 tomorrow morning, so I always like to be at the airport in plenty of time, so, you know, I'll probably leave here at about 7 a.m., um, so I get my stuff packed up tonight. I think my suitcase will be a little bit heavy, so I'm going to have to redistribute some, um, some of my luggage between my carry-on and my checked case so I don't get stung with any uh, oversized baggage fees. All right, I will check in with you all a little bit later. Enjoy those aeroplanes. So I've never watched American football. I don't understand American football. But when in Rome, hey? So it's Super Bowl Sunday. Let's see if I understand any of this. I think I just like the backdrop more than anything. All right, well, we've had a change of plans this afternoon and a change of rooms. So I'm in another room. It is a little smaller than the other one, but never mind. I've still got pretty good runway view. So I had some maintenance issues with the air conditioning in my other room. Um, the vent above the doorway was making this knocking noise. And anyway, maintenance could not, um, could not fix it. So they've moved me into a room two floors down, um, giving me a $25 food and beverage credit for the inconvenience. Mind you, I did have to ask for that. So it's now almost 3.30 p.m., um, almost time for the Super Bowl to kick off. Um, so my plans of going down to In-N-Out and uh, doing a bit of plane spotting down there have been put to the side. Um, <sighs> I priced an Uber earlier to get down there. At one stage, it was $21 um, for like an eight minute Uber ride, if that. And I checked again 10 minutes later and it had surcharged up to $53. So there's no way that I was taking the chance of, of getting down there and then, you know, having ridiculous surcharge prices to, um, to get back, not for like an $8 burger. So what I have done instead, just gone down to the little cafe, grabbed myself a nice little um, snack there. That can be my lunch. I've got um, a beer to watch the game. So I think the Super Bowl's about to start in about seven minutes time. Got no clue whatsoever about the game, but um, I did put a bet on it. I've, I've put a, um, a multi bet or what's called, I think in America you call it a parlay. Um, don't even know what I picked, um, but anyway, I put down $10 and I think I picked six options and if they all come through, I will win $400. So 
let's hope for that. So I'm going to kick back on the bed now and um, open this beer, have something to eat. And then, yeah, tonight I'm going to use that $25 credit down at the restaurant. So probably not until a bit later on. I think they're open till 9.30. So I might head down there at about 7.30, 8 o'clock given that it's 3.30 now and, and I'm gonna have something to eat. So not quite the day that I had planned, but doesn't matter. Um, I did go down to In-N-Out and that plane, plane spotting area last trip when I was here. And I can still do some plane spotting here from my room. All right, I will uh, check in with you all a bit later. Bye. good music I wouldn't mind but it's god awful anyway um, I've ordered a Prosecco I um, just ordered myself um, chicken Alfredo fettuccine for dinner um, I've got my $25 beverage uh, food and beverage credit from um, the inconvenience of having to move rooms and um, yeah so been watching the Super Bowl this afternoon not understanding any of it um, it's not finished yet but I got bored I, I, I managed to watch until the third quarter or almost the end of the third quarter but um, yeah I think by the time I've sat here and had my dinner and head back to my room um, it'll either only just be finished or maybe not even finished because a quarter seems to take a hell of a long time Anyway, I'll um, show you my dinner when it comes and catch up soon. Oh, Super Bowl. Um I'm a little confused about how that all ended, but um, anyway, interesting game, um, exciting, um, close, but still no clue. I'm glad I persisted. I'm glad I watched it, but um, I just, I need somebody to sit down and explain the rules of NFL to me before I ever try and watch that again. Anyway, as you can see, I am in bed, um, come back from dinner um to watch the end of the super bowl see the overtime um dinner was really good um really nice chicken alfredo i think after i got the food and beverage credit it was about 21 dollars um so that was a decent price for dinner um anyway um i've just done a little bit of packing ready for my flight tomorrow i think departure is 8 55 a.m so Probably leave here at about 6.45, 7 o'clock. Um, grab coffee and whatnot at the airport in the morning. Due to arrive in Vegas at 10 past 10. I'm not really hopeful that um, I'm going to have a room ready. Um, given, obviously, Super Bowl today. I can't see many people being checked out and rooms cleaned 
by the time I get to park MGM. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. I've um, done mobile check-in, first time doing that. So I'll see how that experience goes. Um, but I'm ready to gamble. So it doesn't matter if I don't get a room straight away. I'll just store my bags and um, jump straight into it. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks for coming along on my travel days. Um, always seems to turn into two days for travel day. But anyway, um, them's the breaks. When you travel 14 and a half hours, it's actually been really good to, um, to have the break here in LA before flying on to Vegas. Um, it's really, really hard to do um, getting off a, a 14 and a half hour flight and then straight on to another one. Um, and then trying to stay up all day in Vegas. So I always do prefer to break it up here um, in LA for a night or two and make sure that I'm all relaxed and ready to go in Vegas. Anyway, um, I will take you along on my journey in the morning and um, the next time I talk to you, I'll be going to Vegas. Good night, everyone.